Hey friends, I have some very thought-provoking Proverbs for you today. From Proverbs chapter 27, verses 19 through 22. Now listen to these Proverbs, very, very insightful and, and uh, sobering and, and worth pondering uh, for some time, chewing on, meditating. Think about this. Listen. It says, as water reflects a face, so man's heart reflects the man. Interesting, isn't it? As water reflects a face, so man's heart reflects the man. But if you can get into a person's heart and see what they're passionate about, what makes them filled with joy, what fills them with anger, uh, what's important to them. You find out who they really are, right? Verse 20 says, death and destruction are never satisfied and neither are the eyes of man. In other words, we always want more that nothing ever really satisfies. You know, we'd say, except for the Lord. But death and destruction are never satisfied, neither are the eyes of man. Verse 21, the crucible for silver and the furnace for gold, but man is tested by the praise he receives. And in that proverb, uh, you know, the crucible tests silver. It, it cleans out the dross, right? And, and the same with furnace. It, you know, in the heat of the furnace, uh, gold is purified. The impurities uh, are, are, you know, bubble to the top and, and uh, can be swept away. But a man, so, so the test is, is how does the metal respond to heat? And the test of a man is how the man responds uh, to, to his praise. Man is tested by the praise he receives. We can see what sort of man he is in terms of the praise he receives and how he receives it, right? Verse 22, though you grind a fool in a mortar, grinding him like a grain with a pestle, do not remove his folly from him. So you can remove the dross from silver and, you know, gold, I guess, if it is dross. You know, you can you can see the character of, of a man through his praise and how he handles that. But a fool, you, you can't remove the folly from him uh, because a fool will often just persist in his folly, right? A wise man listens to rebuke, responds to it, and turns from his wicked way. Uh, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. Hey, hope you're encouraged by that today.